So the fallout from the Bajan Robinson Howie Roseman comments are in full effect today. As the anti Bajan Robinsons want him to not come to Philly, they're coming up with every possible excuse on why the Eagles were just blowing smoke up everybody's butts. But they can't stop this. You can't stop this train. Choo choo! <laughs> Draft five. Not even Jonathan Gannon and his fried brain can stop this train. King Thing back here. I hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. I feel the momentum is in full effect. Nobody is going to be able to stop this train from coming. Bajan Robinson to Philly is gaining a lot of steam, and I love it. And what's with Jonathan Gannon? Seriously. Like, did this guy really seriously fry his brain in Arizona Sun already? I mean, the guy's crazy. He's crazy. And for all those who don't want Bajan Robinson, I'm going to give you an alternate trade here. Alternate trade scenario. Maybe that you'll like. But before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like this content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled, pause, Eagles content creator in all of the internet. If you've been subscribed for a while, just double check, double boo walk check. Make sure you're still subscribed. Now, I think it was pretty funny today. I enjoyed myself a lot, man. It was funny listening to all the different shows and all the different people that were reaching out to me to tell me that Howie Roseman is putting up a smoke screen and that there's no way that the Eagles would ever take a running back and all those kind of things. And I got to say this. I believe what Howie Roseman said yesterday was exactly what he meant. Howie was not blowing smoke up anybody's butt. He, it's very simple. You want to get a player at 10 who is going to be a game changer. You want a guy who is going to be an impact player, a guy who, who could be a potential star. You want that. So, of course, Howie's not lying. We, we've known that before. He said the same thing with Devontae Smith. Uh, is John Robinson in play at 10? You better believe he is. He absolutely 100% is. No doubt about it. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to fall that way, the, the thing with Bajan Robinson and we'll hear what we have to understand, this is not no longer about the position. It has nothing to do with the position. The position, to me, is, is irrelevant. At 10, where the Eagles are picking, they're going to take the player they feel could be the most impactful, that could be the biggest game changer. Okay, So what it's going to depend on is one thing, the draft board. The draft board. How the Eagles have their draft board will determine whether the Eagles take him or not. I don't know what, what their draft board says, but I can tell you this. If Bajan Robinson's three, they're going to draft him. If he's six, they might draft him. It just really depends how the draft falls and how, what their draft board is. Are they going to take him? Is it going to happen? The per chances probably are still that they won't, in all honesty, but there's a chance. And it's got, man, I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. It's been like the best 24 hours I've had since the Super Bowl. I've been so happy, so excited. It's been like, yes, yes. I mean, before they played that Super Bowl game, you know, like the night before Super Bowl. It's been a really good 24 hours. It's been a long week, though. Crazy week, crazy day. I might have to go smoke a cigar tonight. Just just a Friday night stogie because Philly 500 won this week. We definitely won this week. It's been a long week. But the uh, weekend's here. I'm pretty excited about it, as you probably could tell. I'm a little wound up today. I am. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited about what they said yesterday. I've been thinking about it all day, man. I've been just on cloud nine about this whole possibility that Bajan Robinson could come. And, and I think the momentum is that, yeah, the Eagles could take him. There's a possibility. He is in play. Maybe they trade back and get him. That's fine with me. I don't care how it gets done. I don't care if it's done with the 10th pick. I don't care if it's done with the 30th pick. I don't care if it's done with the third round pick. Just get it done. Okay, that's all I care about. Get it done. Um, but it's been it's been pretty exciting. And, and you are starting to see, I am starting to see more and more people come come over to the idea. I think because we realize Jalen Carter's probably not going to be there. I still think Jalen Carter's the apple of the Eagles' eye, but you never know. Uh, but I'm I'm excited about this. And I think that hopefully the momentum that is going on with Bajan Robinson to Philly, hopefully this thing does not slow down. And if if the draft falls right, hopefully the Eagles snag him. 
And if they do, watch out because I don't think <laughs> I don't think anybody's stopping this defense. I mean this offense all year, man. I don't think anybody's stopping this offense. Sorry, I referenced defense, but I was looking at this Jonathan Gannon thing at the corner of my eye, and I couldn't help talk about the defense. Did you see this defense thing? What happened? This guy's this guy's crazy, right? So Jonathan Gannon was at some event. I don't know what it was. And he was talking about how the the Philadelphia has a hard market to you know the media is very hard there, and that they wanted him fired, and he would have discussions with them before press conferences that he you know why would you want me fired? We're leading in every statistical category, and all this stuff it was very very bizarre very weird i am so glad this guy is gone i, I gotta tell you it's funny that every time something's good it's him he's great every time uh something is bad it's the player's fault you know he always blames everybody else but this is this is what Gannon says i'm not gonna put the video up because if i do i'll probably get copyrighted i'm always worried about that so here let me read the tr what, what he said right so here's what gannon said today in this whatever event this was he goes I'm very comfortable talking to the media, Gannon said, which he's never comfortable, without mentioning that he avoided talking to the media after the Eagles' defense fell apart in the second half of the Super Bowl. Quote, this is Jonathan Gannon, Philly is a very hard media market. We were 9-0, and I did my presser, and they say, Coach, we want you fired. And I said, we're the number one defense in the NFL right now in every statistical category. Why do you want me fired? You don't blitz enough, they said. Well, we lead the league in sacks by 30-plus sacks. So if you want to call the defense, then you can have at it. The Eagles send out every transcript and every assistant coach press conference, and they couldn't find any exchange. And then Warren Sharp posted this. Um, and this is a rebut of Jonathan Gannon, what he said. He said, the Eagles were never 9-0. They weren't. They were never 9-0. After nine games, the Eagles were not leading the NFL in sacks. That's very true. They came on at the end of the year. Uh, they trailed multiple other teams in sacks. At no point in the season did they lead the NFL by 30-plus sacks or anything close to that margin. And then five, this press, this presser exchange never happened. That never, ever happened. So he's just making a crap up. Why would he say that? Uh, man, I, I, you know, I know other people are talking about it, but I'm, I'm glad the guy's going. I'm glad he's in Arizona. Good luck. So I'm glad he didn't come back. Howie Roseman told him, don't even come back to Philly. Good, good, good. But uh, that's that's a bunch of garbage, man. That is a bunch of crap. And uh, Gannon, it is what it is. So who knows? Uh, you know, to me, uh, we'll, we'll see what Desai is. We'll see how much better he is. My hope is he's a little more aggressive. I definitely had a problem with Gannon not blitzing. I, I definitely did. And, and, yeah, they had like 70 sacks, but... You could have had 10 more sacks, 11 more sacks, in my opinion, if you would have blitzed more. Um, he didn't. And to me, I think the fact that those, those guys were so talented defensively, they had so many good players, I think they bailed Jonathan Gannon out a lot. A lot, okay? So, it is what it is. Jonathan Gannon's gone. Thank God. So the last part of this video I want to talk to you guys about is, is a hypothetical trade. I, I'm just curious. I like to kind of get a gauge on whether people would do certain things because I like to see how people value the picks and whatnot. But there's a hypothetical trade. And this, this was NFLanalysis.net. Um, but they, they were talking about the Eagles and how the Eagles uh, signed Rashad Penny. And Penny has only played in 42 games, recording 364 touches. In 2,140 yards and 14 touchdowns in five years. In five years. Many running backs have close to 300 touches or more uh, in one season. And it, it's been five seasons for him. And they were saying the Eagles might not be able to depend on a running back. And they might want to go out and get another running back. I think, I think most of us feel that the Eagles need to do something at the running back spot. Whether you're like me and you're all for Bajan or you're not like me and you want... Jam Jamar Gibbs, or you want another running back uh, in the mid-rounds, or, or maybe even a free agent. Maybe you want the Eagles to sign Zeke Elliott, whatever. Um, but this was a, a trade that they, they were talking about in which would bring Derrick Henry to Philadelphia. And Derrick Henry, for me, is one of the few guys that I would ever... I would ever trade for uh, that's a veteran running back right now. He's one of the few guys, if any, maybe the only, that I would trade for as a running back that, that possibly could get traded. Now, I like Derrick Henry a lot. 
All right, I, I've seen Derrick Henry play live in high school. I was living up in Fernandina Beach, and he went to a school called Yuli. And I was just driving by. It was one evening, and I was like, oh, I'm going to go check in this football game because they were playing. I went and watched, and he was playing, and he tore it up, man. He tore I mean, he might, I think he might have, like, close to 300 yards, if not. I can't remember how many yards, but it seemed like every time he caught, he ran the ball, he was breaking. He was so much bigger than everybody else. You knew that kid was going to be good, but I like Derrick Henry a lot. I like him a lot because I've I seen him since high school. Um, but in this trade scenario, this is what this is what they said. Um, uh, here's what the trade between the Eagles and Titans would look like. And this is suggested proposed trade, right? Uh, it, here it is. It's Philadelphia. The Eagles would send their number 62 overall pick in the 2023 NFL draft, a 2024 third round pick, to the Tennessee Titans in exchange for Derrick Henry and the number 186 pick in the 2023 NFL Draft. So the Eagles would get Derrick Henry and number 186 in the 2023 Draft, and they would give up their 62 pick overall, and and I think that's a second round pick, uh, and a 2023 or 2024 fourth round pick. So, the Eagles would give up a second and a fourth next year, a second this year, fourth next year, and then they would get back, I believe that's a fourth round pick. So, that's the question. Would you make that trade for Derrick Henry? Me, if I can't draft Bajan Robinson and I have to go veteran, wide, or veteran running back, and that's where I'm going to go, I'm not going to draft a young running back, I would do that trade. That trade, I think I would do. Give up my second, a second overall this year, and then a fourth round pick next year, and I get Derrick Henry, and then a, the number one, number one eighty six overall pick in this draft. Yeah, I would do that. It'd be good for. I could, I could get a year or two out of them. I think the Eagles have to do something like that because I think the Eagles, they could go back to the Super Bowl this year. Derrick Henry would put you back over the top. Now, some people will say, well, Derrick Henry wouldn't fit in with the system and what the Eagles do. I disagree. I think Derrick Henry will fit in with any system you want to do. I think Derrick Henry would, would be fine. Not my first choice. Obviously, I want Bashan Robinson. That's where I would go. That's what I want. But it's an interesting trade. If I have to go veteran running back uh, that's available, that could be available in this league, I'm going Derrick Henry over Zeke Elliott or uh, Kareem Hunt or anybody else for that matter because I don't really think there's anybody else out there. Um, but I might do that trade. I would definitely think long and hard about it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Would you make that trade? Would you not make that trade? Uh, let me know in the comment section. With that said, take care. Talk to you later, of course. Don't be a thing but remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. All right, so... Um, I, I made a little mistake in this video. I said that the 186 pick was a fourth round pick. It's a sixth round pick. So actually, it's a sixth round pick. So I don't know why I said fourth round pick, but it's a sixth round pick. And um, yeah, so the Eagles would get Derrick Henry and a sixth round pick for a second this year and then a fourth next year. Eh. Uh, that, that, that may be a little too steep for me. If it was a fourth round pick back this year, yeah, I would do it. Uh, sixth round pick... I don't know. I'm 50-50 on it. I got to think about it. I got to think about that one. What about you guys? Would you do it? Denzel Washington out.